Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name, oh, blessed be thy name, of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy, you are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alle, Alleluia. 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 Alle, Alle. To the King Most High, to the Lord of hosts, to the, to the man of war, the immortal, the invisible God, the Lord Most High, who sits upon the cycles of the heart, we worship you. We give you the praise, O God, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you because you have kept us and you have brought us back to the altar tonight. Not of him that wills, not of him that runs, but of you, O God, who shows mercy. Thank you for having shown us mercy, great mercies we have received. O Jesus, we, are, we thank you. We are grateful, O God, thank you. We are grateful, O God, thank you. We are grateful, O God, thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. Forever we praise your name. Lord, we ask in your name on this altar tonight, let your power move around the world. Let your power move around the world. Let your spirit breathe upon every soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that in your name, every pangs of hell, every chains of darkness, every chains of evil, by the power in the name of Jesus, they are shattered, they are scattered, they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Alleluia. 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 Angels are singing. Alle, alle. Angels are singing. Alle, alle. The saints are singing. Alle, alle. The saints are singing. Alle, alle. What is the lamb? Alle, alle. What is the lamb? Alle, alle. Angels are singing, Ale, Ale. Angels are singing, Ale, Ale. Ale, Ale. Ale, Ale. Ale, Ale. Ale, Ale. With a shout of Hallelujah, we welcome you back to the altar tonight. 
We know that the Lord has continued to bless you on this altar and he won't, he won't stop blessing you. Hallelujah be to Jesus. Our God reigns is the Almighty. So we give him the glory. I want to I, I want to assure you that in the name of Jesus, every mighty act of God that you have experienced on this altar, they are permanent. The yokes of darkness that have been destroyed are permanently destroyed. The deliverances you have received are permanently are permanent in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So tonight, by the grace of God, please do not forget that the last few days on this altar shall be the night of missiles. The night of missiles. Bear that in mind and get ready to that effect. We encourage you that you should fast. If you cannot fast through the day, fast in the night. If you cannot fast in the day, fast in the night. For those few days, will tell you when just have it in mind once we conclude 150 chapters today the next day we we'll launch into the night of missiles which is most likely going to be the last two days on this altar hallelujah so we encourage you for whatever thing you are trusting the lord for fast if you cannot fast through the day fast in the night night fasting you can begin from 6 p.m and fast till the breaking of the dawn hallelujah and you can also choose to fast during the day break your fast in the evening and join the altar to pray and you can also choose to go on marathon it is just going to be for two days the most important thing is that you experience the mighty hand of god and you experience the strange acts of god in the name of jesus hallelujah all right, so tonight, by the grace of God, we would be taking, we would be running through Psalms 120 to Psalms 127. Psalms 120 to Psalms 127. Now, bear this in mind that the Psalms we are about taking, they are just short, short Psalms. Now, we have entered into the realm, into the, into the season of what we call the Songs of Ascent. We call them the songs of ascent. Now, these songs of ascent are 15 in number. They are 15 in number. Amen. So, from Psalm 120 to Psalm 135, they are the songs of ascent. And these psalms are believed to have been sung by pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. These, these psalms are believed to have been sung by pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. And they have. They, 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 of course, pilgrims often go to Jerusalem during their annual feasts of either the Passover, Pentecost, or the Feast of Tabernacles. These are actually important feasts among the Jews. Among the Jews, the Feast of Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles, and even the Feast of Pentecost. Yes, so these, psalm, these songs of ascent are oftentimes taken by pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem and it is in this spirit we take we take them all on this altar so tonight we'll run from Psalm 120 to Psalm 127 now Psalm 120 is a psalm composed and written in distress now this psalm does not actually specify the exact nature of the distress but it is possible that it is at a time when they were facing some kind of when the Israelites were facing some kind of opposition or persecution and so this psalm is, is as written to ask God to deliver them from their enemies and to give them peace is there anybody under any form of distress on this altar tonight I ask that in the name of Jesus the peace of Jehovah Shalom will locate you I said the peace of Jehovah Shalom will locate you. Every emotional distress, every psychological distress, every financial distress, every physical distress, distress in your health, pains in your body, aches in your body. I ask that the mighty hand of Jehovah Rapha rest upon you. Healings take place. Peace is restored 
even into your life, into your situation and circumstances. In the mighty name of Jesus. Angels are singing. Ali, Ali. Angels are singing. Ali, Ali. What is the land? Ali, Ali. What is the land? Ali, Ali. Know of a truth that the Israelites were oftentimes persecuted by their enemies. In fact, up till now, they still remain a nation among enemies. But one great thing is that of all the persecution, of all the opposition they have continued to experience, God has continued to give them victory. Oh, my dear, you are also a spiritual Jew. So never you be afraid of the opposition, the terror, or the persecution of the enemies. Because no matter the number, of course, we discovered that, that David, King David, fought through his lifetime. 66 battles, 66 different battles. But of all these battles, there was none he lost. God gave him victory over all these battles. God will give you victory too. No matter the number of the battles of opposition or confrontation you have to go through. I say the Lord of us will give you victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So in the spirit, let's take Psalm 120 tonight. Psalm 120 tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee or what else shall be done unto thee? Thou false tongues, sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Meshach, that I dwell in the tent of Kedar. My soul at long dwells with him that ate at peace. But I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. Lift up your voice tonight. Lift up your voice tonight. And you are going to pray. Lord, every Everyone that are around me. Come on. Everyone that are around me. Don't lose God tonight. Be awoke. Everyone that are around me. That as much as I desire peace. They are for war. Man of war. Give them war. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. says that the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. I've continued to tell you on this altar that you are a soldier. So be always ready to fight. The psalmist says, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. Lord, since they are always willing and ready for war, man of war you are. I call you by your name tonight, man of war. Give them war. I have striven to, to make peace with them for you said I should follow peace with all men but the more I try to make peace the more war, the more battle they bring along my way man of war, I call upon you tonight you are the lord of us give them war, engage them in battle satisfy their soul with war satisfy their lives with battles hey Jehovah encroach their territory with your host hey scatter their territory for I dwell among those who hate peace. Man of war, give them war. And Napa Shangabana, Liko Pateko Skuri de Balande. They are lying lips, they are deceitful tongues, doing all things to pull me down, to see that I end up in shame and derision. Jehovah, tonight I call on you. Show, show up. That you are the man of war. Show up that you are the man of war. Show up that you are the man of war. Let my distresses be over. Set me out of my distresses. Engage my enemies in serious battles. Show them that you are the man of war. Hallelujah. 
I stand upon this altar tonight and I declare upon the lives of everybody connected to this altar in as much as they do not want peace let war descend into their territory you desire peace but they, des they desire war you desire peace but they desire battle but they are, they are forgotten that you are a soldier of the Lord who is the man of war therefore in the order of our father I release the host of heaven to engage them in serious battle and destroy them until none of them until none of them is left in the name of Jesus hey. the Lord is a man of war the Lord is a man of war the Lord of hosts is his name the Lord is a man of war the Lord is a man of war Jehovah is a man of war. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord is a man of war. He will show up as a mighty, as a mighty man of war for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Run to the chat box right now and put it there. You want war? You take war. You want war? You have war. The man of war engage you in battle. You want war. You have war. The man of war engage you in battle. You want war. You have war. The man of war engage you in battle. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord is a man of war. Have you dropped it in the chat box? Oh, it's a serious one tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Now we go on to the next psalm of ascent. And that is Psalm 21. Hallelujah. Now, this Psalm 21 is a beautiful expression of trust in God. Even in the middle, in the midst of difficult circumstances and hard situations, the psalmist is saying here that I will trust in the Lord. I will lift up my eyes to the hill from where it's come my help. My help comes from the Lord who makes the heaven and the earth. That means in the middle of difficult, challenging, hard conditions, he still knows that trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the psalmist is saying and telling his people that help comes true help comes only from the Lord the Lord who is the maker of the heaven and earth is the one who gives all good things is the source of all good things and it is not worthy to rest on him you know the scripture says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path so it is not worthy important to trust in the Lord in all things so this psalm is a comforting assurance for all of us no matter what it is we are going through knowing that God is always with us and that he is always watching over us and so he will keep you I say in the name of Jesus the Lord will keep you I say in the name of Jesus the Lord will sustain you I said the Lord will carry you on his wings through the life situations and conditions you have been through. No matter how difficult, no matter how strenuous it had been, the Lord by his mighty hands on his wings will carry you through. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put it in the chat box. The Lord will carry me through. Yes, the Lord will carry me through. Oh, the Lord will carry me through. The Lord will carry me through. The Lord will carry me through. Yes, he will carry me through. Oh, he is everything. He is everything to me. 
is everything is everything to me is my father my mother my sister and my brother is everything to me he lifts me when i am down he's everything to me he carries me on his own wings he's everything to me he's my father my mother my sister and my brother is everything to me somewhere 21 i will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the lord which made heaven and earth you will not suffer harm thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to declare Lord in your name I am preserved 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 You are my protection You are my strength You are my shield Oh I am preserved I am preserved in your name is my shade in your name is my shade you are my keeper so in your name jesus i am protected i am preserved the sun shall not smite me by day the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not hurt me by night the moon shall not hurt me by night my soul is preserved my soul is preserved Lord as I look up to you in every situation in life I will never be disappointed I will always receive help from you help from above like Break it to soup, break it, Yanama. I have help always. I have help always. I have help always. I have help always. I am never stranded. I am never stranded. I am preserved of the Lord. Skeratoska, Panato Copaniki Russia, and Jacque Panaski Puri Manana, Ruketoske Porofania, Ananianoma Shana Kubrenegate. I am preserved of the Lord in the name of Jesus I declare over you that in the name of him who is Yeshua Yeshua HaMashiach you are preserved it does not matter the level of destruction that befall the heathens it does not matter the level of destruction that befall altars concerning you and all that is yours and is connected to you Hey, the preservation of the Lord is sure. The same power that preserved the house of Israel in Goshen land, inside the country Egypt, while the angel of destruction were destroyed on the other side, 
they were preserved on the other side. And now Kapanata Riko Skupa Lesuzia Ayapano Rukupaneata. That same hand, that same power, that same authority preserves you. Hey Amanda, Yakosiat, I say you are preserved in the name of Jesus. Oh. Put it in the chat box right now. I am preserved by the Lord. Yes, I am preserved by the Lord. 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 By the Lord. Uh, this is my assurance. This is my confidence that my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord. This is my assurance and this is my confidence my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord. This is my assurance and this is my confidence that my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord this is my assurance and this is my confidence because my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord as I lift up my eyes unto the hills I know my help comes from him. Because my help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. As I lift up my eyes unto the hills, I know my help comes from him. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven. So this is my assurance And this is my confidence Help comes from the Lord Let it have a common in any motion Rick it tell him I'm in a no city of a little that my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord. He that keeps my Israel does not slumber, does not sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade. The sun shall not smite me by day. Not a moon by night would haunt me. For my soul is preserved in the name of the Lord. For this is my assurance. And this is my confidence that my soul is preserved in the name of Yeshua. This is my assurance. Yeah, this is my confidence that my soul is preserved. In the name of the Lord, your soul is preserved forever. No evil will befall you. Oh, you.
you will trust in the name of the Lord. And the name of the Lord will never fail you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's move on to the next psalm of ascent. Let's move on to the next song of ascent. And that is Psalm 22. Now, Psalm 122, like I said, is also a song of ascent. It's also a song of ascent. And this one is a joyous expression of the psalmist's love for Jerusalem and his desire to be in the presence of God. You see, it is, it is always joyous. It is always a blessed time in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the psalmist is here expressing his desire, his joy at going to Jerusalem. Don't forget that we said the songs of ascent are the songs sung by pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. So now the psalmist here, the composer of this psalm, is expressing how joyous he is going to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. For Jerusalem is the physical place of the presence of the Lord. And oh, may I inform you, you have Jerusalem around you every time. Because once you are conscious of me, the presence of the Lord is perpetually with you. Hallelujah. Now to the Israelites, Jerusalem was a center of worship. Yes, Jerusalem was a center of worship. It was a place where they could come to be with God and to experience His presence. Hallelujah. Are you, are you also excited to be in Eat More Prayer House tonight? Yes, this is Jerusalem. This is also Jerusalem. Are you excited? Are you excited to be at the prayer house tonight? If you're excited, drop it in the chat box. Say, I am excited to be in Jerusalem. I'm excited to be in Jerusalem. I'm excited to be in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I'm excited to be in Jerusalem. Drop it in the chat box. Hallelujah. And because you're excited to be in Jerusalem, may the blessings of Jerusalem locate you. May the blessings, of, may the blessings inherent in Jerusalem be your portion. In the mighty name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jerusalem is a beautiful place. It's a well-ordered place. It's a, it's a well-structured place. It was the capital of the country Israel then. Hallelujah. So the psalmist then concludes this Psalm 122 by praying for the peace of Jerusalem because they that love Jerusalem they will pray for the welfare of Jerusalem and they shall have peace. Hallelujah. 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 May your life be safe. May your life be safe. May you dwell in security. May you dwell in safety. In the name of Jesus. May the peace of the Lord abide in your abode. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May your life be the presence of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, for it is so sweet. To be in the presence of the Father. It is so sweet to have a fellowship with the Son. And it is so blissful to be in communion with the Spirit. This is our reality. Hey, this is our experience. Oh, this is our reality. Hey, this is our experience. The presence of the Lord. That is our own Jerusalem. The place of intimacy. That is where we meet our God. When we got our Zion. We are renewed from strength to strength. And so we are never weaklings. But we are strong in the name of the Lord. And that is our reality. Hey, this is our experience. So wherever you are, say it is so sweet to be in the presence of the Father. It is so sweet to be in fellowship with the Son. Yes, it is so blissful to have communion with the Spirit. 
This is a reality. Hey, this is our experience. Oh, this is our reality. Oh, yes, this is our experience. I was glad when they said, Let us go to the house. I was glad when they said, Let us go to the presence of the Lord. I was glad when they said, Let us go to Jerusalem. For this is where the blessings of the Lord rest upon me. I was glad when they said, Let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said, let us go to the place of his presence. I was glad when they said, Let us go to Jerusalem. For it is the place of the presence of the Lord. So I am blessed. Psalm 122 verse 1. I was glad when they said, Unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is, a, is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions sake, I will now say, peace be within thee because of the house of the Lord our God I will seek thy good two prayers quickly the scripture says that Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together that means that this city stands firm this city is unshaken. Will you lift up your voice tonight and say, Oh Lord, build my life. Oh Lord, build my life. Build my life. Build my life. Let my life be compact. Let my life hold firm. Let my life hold family. Lord, build my life. Ah, is your eyes shut and you are praying already? Shkaratos kepa, reke parasko polu parananata. Build my life, Lord. Build my life, O Lord. Rika paros kipuri anama. Let my life not be porous. Let my life not be porous. Shkipeli aramadas kupeleanda. Build my life, Lord, as you built Jerusalem. To be a compact city without built my life, oh God, without built my life, oh God, that the tide and that the loose edges, that the loose edges will become compacted. That my life will experience firmness, that my life will hold firm, that my life will stand unmovable, unshakable. Hey, Malukia Manana, build my life, oh God. Build my life, oh God. You built Jerusalem, built my build my life. You built Jerusalem, build my life. Build my life, oh God. Build my ministry, oh God. Build my finance, oh God. Build my marriage, oh God. Build my family, oh God. Build my profession, oh God. Build 
my career, oh God. Build my destiny, oh God. Build my spiritual work with you, oh God. Build my life and its entirety, oh God. Build my life, oh God. Make my life be compact. Make my life be firm. Make my life be strong. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I kill you, Yanama. Now, quickly, can you pray? Take the second prayer. And the second prayer is that you pray for Jerusalem. You pray for Jerusalem. The scripture says that when you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you will prosper. When you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you will prosper. So this is a good time to pray for Jerusalem. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. Oh, Jerusalem, we declare. You are the city of God. Peace be within thy walls. Yes, begin to declare after me. Oh, Jerusalem, we declare in the name of Jesus. Peace be within thy walls. Prosperity be within thy palaces. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you Jerusalem. Oh, we declare peace upon you. We declare peace upon you. We declare all the inhabitants of Jerusalem to come to the realization of the Prince of Peace. That is Jesus Christ. And so peace be within thy walls. Oh, Jerusalem, peace be within thy walls. Oh, Jerusalem, there is prosperity in thy palaces. Oh, Jerusalem, there is prosperity in thy palaces. In the modern name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus that the lives of everybody connected to this altar shall be built by the Lord. Do I hear you say amen? I say your life shall be built by the Lord. The Lord shall design your life as his palace in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we join, the, we join our voice with the voice of many Christians in the world and we declare that there is peace in Jerusalem. War will cease. You will come to the realization of the Prince of Peace and there will be peace within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. Run to the chat box and put it there. I prosper for I pray for Jerusalem. 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 Oh, yes. You will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, you dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. You ride in the midst of the seraphims. Shine on. You that dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. You've shown forth, so you keep shining. You dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. You that ride upon the seraphims. Shake the balayana man de fanat. Shuki ki parana ma ye de adaba. Itenene namose. Shadaya. Break it and This is how we last in the place of your spirit. Hallelujah. Psalm 123. Also another song of our saints. And this one is a humble plea for God's mercy and help. It was a humble plea for God's mercy and help. Now, this psalm speaks about one lifting up his eyes unto the Lord, the Lord who is enthroned in heaven, acknowledging that we are dependent on God for everything. And so, this psalm is pleaded with God for mercy and compassion as you also ask for God for mercy and compassion on this altar tonight help will locate you and the compassion of the Lord shall be your portion see listen to me 
whenever you ever trivialize the prayer for mercy because it is God's prerogative of authority to choose who to be merciful to never you trivialize never you trivialize the prayer for mercy because it is God's prerogative of authority and his utmost discretion utmost discretion to choose who to be merciful to for the scripture says yes it was written in the old testament and re-emphasized in the new testament the lord said unto moses in exodus and it was re-emphasized in romans chapter 9 that the lord said i will show mercy to whom i will show mercy and i will be compassionate to whom i will be compassionate so it not of him that we let not of him that run it but of god that shows mercy so each time you have the opportunity to pray for mercy always take it seriously hallelujah hallelujah so Psalm 123 is the prayer for mercy and god's compassion it is expressing the psalmist's trust in god's goodness and faithfulness and knowing that hoping in the lord and trusting in him will ensure answers to his prayers hallelujah of course this speaks about the lives of the israelites who were often persecuted by their enemies and always needed to rely on god for deliverance always needed to rely on god for protection always needed to rely on god and trust in god for salvation from the difficult situations and circumstances will you also trust in the lord will you also rely on him Will you never devise a way in your own heart, but trust in him, and he will save you mightily. Psalm 123, the prayer for mercy. Hallelujah. Unto thee I lift up my eyes. O thou that dwell in the heavens, Behold, as the eyes of the servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of the maiden unto the hand of their mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that He have mercy upon us. So have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us. For we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Will you burst into serious prayer tonight and ask for mercy? Oh, that thou will show me mercy. Oh, that thou will be merciful unto me. Repa Yakopa Teru Subriana. Oh, God who dwells in heaven, show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Jesus, I have some mercy. Be merciful unto me. Riato Supakata. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. I am filled with contempt. The proud have been contemptuous against me. They have filled my life with disdain. They have treated me ill. They have dragged your name in my life. They have said unto me, where is your God? Oh, the thou be merciful unto me. You sit upon the circuit of the hell. You dwell in the heavens. Be thou merciful unto me. Show me your mercy. 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 And your banner does here. 
Reketeli nenemash. Rene di anama na makapa. Rite keto kapanata. Hey, will you pray with more zeal, somebody? Show me your mercy, Yeshua. Suteli kapana buriana. Kapana teli anamosha. As the servant looks up to his master, and the son looks unto his father, and the daughter looks up to his mo- to her mother. Ah, have I looked unto you? I know you will never put me to shame. I know you will never drag me into mud. I know you will not leave me in my miry clay. I know you will not leave me in the snares of the evil ones. I know you will not let me down in troubles. Just let us call upon you in the days of my trouble. Now I'm calling upon you, Yeshua. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Oh Lord, my help. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Oh Lord, my help. Show me your kindness. Your loving kindness. Show me your kindness. Oh Lord, my help. Show me your kindness. Show me your kindness. Show me your kindness. Oh Lord, my help. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Oh Lord, my help. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I wait for help. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I wait for your help. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I wait for your help. So show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Oh Lord, my help. Lord, on this altar we look unto you. We look to you. Lord, we look to you. We look to you. Show us your mercy. We look to you. Lord, we look to you. We look to you. Show us your mercy. You are our God, and you are our hope. So we look to you. Show us your mercy. Lord, as many that has called unto you for mercy tonight, in one matter in two matters, in some matters. We ask, oh God, in your mercy, arise and show your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Upon all cases that have been decided against your people, we ask, oh God, let mercy speak. Your mercy that that prevails over judgment, let us speak for us. Thank you, Yeshua. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, run to the chat box and put it there. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Yes, I receive mercy. I receive mercy. 
I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, bless your name. Oh. So we we'll move on to Psalm 124. And this is also a song of our saints. But this one is a song of thanksgiving to God for his deliverance from the enemies of his people. The Lord is worthy, the Lord is mighty. And so the psalmist is saying, if it had not been the Lord who had been on their side, what will Israel say when the enemies stood up against them? The enemies would have destroyed them. The enemies will have scattered them in their violence. The enemies will have brought an end to their existence. But for the mercy of God, that brought about deliverance. Yes, when the enemies came as a raging wave, when they show up as, as, the, as, as, as the powerful and violent storm, and they were about to swallow them up, but God showed up, the God of Jacob arose. He responded in his, with his mighty deeds and saved his people. And I speak this word of prophecy over you too. Concerning every raging wind. Concerning every violent storm. Concerning every thunder that is threatening you. I say that the mercy of the Lord swallows them up. I say the almightiness of God swallows them up. I say that the power of the most high God, the almighty, delivers you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, when enemies came on our way, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may I Israel say, when enemies came on our way, how the thanks be to God, our gracious Father, we bow down. To worship you, we give thanks to Jehovah, who saved us from our enemies. We celebrate your goodness. You will sing the song of victory. You will sing the song of deliverance. You will have the last laugh of all your enemies. For the Lord God will send you. He will send you great deliverance. You will have the last love over your enemies. We can hear a remedy of an ocean. He can tell a Rianama, Kata Kapale, a Banaka Panic, and a Kuni del Gadaya. So to get it out of Malagabani or Kuni Nemaya Takabana to the end of fire. Are you praying already, somebody? I have told you that the psalm of David is a prophecy for you. Oh God, you will save me from the words of the enemy. You will put them to shame. Make them never to be able to swallow me. Irakori paranosh eramanata. Sete keto palakaburiye, siti ni na 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 na. At your feet, Jehovah, I am groaning, crying for help. I want your salvation. Let the enemies never have the last say. 
I'm waiting at your feet, looking unto Jesus. Send your mercy to me. Let the enemies never have the last laugh. For you have said you will save me. You will deliver me in the days of my trouble. Send your help to me. Let the enemies never have the last laugh. The Lord will send help to you. So the Lord will send help to you. He will deliver you. Oh, they think they have you in their teeth already. It's a lie. They cannot swallow you. <laughs> they think they have you in their mouth already. They don't burn them well. They dare not chew you. Let the Lord of saints swallow you. I release this living oracle from this altar tonight and I declare it moves around the world. You that the enemies already have you in their teeth. The thunder of God strikes them right now and they spill you from their mouth. They spill you out from their mouth by the mighty power of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray Psalm 124. Psalm of Thanksgiving. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel see. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream has gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help! Eh, my help! Eh, our help! name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Will you pray now? Will you pray now? Lord, from the waters of enmity that have overwhelmed me, save me. From the waters of enemies that have overwhelmed me, save me. From the stream of wickedness that have gone over my soul, save me. From the stream of wickedness that have gone over my soul, deliver me. Let the source of the waters dry off. Let the fountain of the stream dry off. Let the proud waters of the enemy that have gone over my soul dry off. Lord, from the evil stream of affliction that have gone over my soul, deliver me. Lord, I declare in your name, let the snares be broken. Let the snares of the fowlers concerning me be broken. Let the snares of the fowler concerning me be broken. Let the snare of the fowlers concerning me be broken. Now, can you go personal with that prayer? Can you go personal with that prayer? You know where you have been ensnared. You know the pains of enslavement and captivity. And the capturing of the evil ones that you, the besieging of the wicked ones that you are experiencing. Can you go personal with the prayer? Lord, let the snares be broken. Let the snares be broken. Let the snares be broken. Let the snares be broken from this altar. Lord, we seek your face. Let the snares be broken. Yes, Lord, let the snares be broken. In the name of Jesus, let the snares be broken. Eruka Rabash. Sefata Pako let the snares be broken, oh God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
I stand as an oracle of the living God. And I stand in my office as a prophet unto nations. And I declare over your life, whatever is the snare, whatever is the trap of the enemy that I have caught up with you, you snares, I speak to you right now. Break! In the name of Jesus, you traps, I command, fail! In the name of Jesus, you trap, I command, fail! In the name of Jesus, you waters of evil, I command, dry up. You streams of wickedness, I command, dry up. You fountains of evil, I command, cease. In the name of Jesus. You, you will sing the song of joy. You will sing the song of victory. Thank you, Jesus. Run to the chat box and put it there. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Oh yes, my help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a great night of great deliverance. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Let's go to Zaran 25. That is another song of ascent. And this one is a song of confidence in God's protection. Even in the midst of difficult circumstances. The psalmist here is declaring that those who trust in the Lord are like man Zion, which cannot be moved. So when you trust in the Lord, when you put your confidence in the Lord, you will be stable, you will be firm. You will never be moved. Oh yes. You will be stable, you will be secured, you will be safe. Oh yes. Oh, rely on God. Rely on God. Don't put your trust in man. Don't seek after gods. No, don't seek. Don't seek after idols. It will only make your matters worse. Put your trust in the Lord. Wait for him till he shows up. But by the time he shows up, listen to me, God is never late. Know that and know that for sure. You know this and you know peace. God is never late. Whenever he shows up, he comes up with the best. So, except you are not expecting the best. If you are anticipating the best, then you will learn to wait for God. Trust me, my dear, if you are waiting for God, you are not wasting away. Listen, it does not matter who has gone on ahead of you. It does not matter the level of speed that those that have gone ahead of you are moving with. When you wait for God, you are not wasting. Because when God shows up and he places his hand upon you, you will run, you will catch up, you will overtake, and you will outrun. That is a prophecy for you already. That will be your experience. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Oh, God is good. God is good. So I encourage you, my dear friend, wait upon the Lord trust in him and he will show up for you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah all right let's sing this song let's sing this song unto the Lord God they that trust in the Lord shall be as man Zion which cannot be removed but abide it forever that is stability as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about we his people from henceforth even for heaven. For the road of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Amen. The road of the wicked shall not, shall not rest upon the upon the lot of the righteous. 
rotu to wicked shall not rest upon the rod of the righteous. You are on this altar tonight. You have continued to experience affliction in your dreams such that you are you are always afraid of nightfall because once night falls and you sleep it is always one level of affliction one level of oppression I release this decree from Zion today for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous therefore I command that affliction ceases in the name of him that has sent me. Jesus is his name. I say that affliction ceases. You are here each time. You are, at, you are close to breakthrough. You are always having a vision or a dream of you going back to the former schools you've been to. That is affliction. I stand upon the authority of the word of God and I lean in the Lord, I rest upon the power of the Most High and I issue this decree that affliction is over in the name of Jesus somebody run to the chat box and put it the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot. Oh, thank you, Jesus. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts as for such as turn aside unto the crooked ways the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity but peace I say peace shall be upon Israel peace shall be upon you I say peace shall be upon you wherever you are right now put your right hand on your head as I declare upon you I declare upon you that in the name of Jesus you shall not be moved I say in the name of Jesus what moves others will not move you I say what makes others collapse will not have power over you I say what brings others down will not have power over you ah you will stand forever Hey, you will stand forever. You are on this altar. You are afraid that this was how prosperity started in the lives of those who have gone ahead of you. But suddenly they were stopped. They were brought down. I have come to declare concerning you and prophesy into your life. You will not be stopped. You will not be stopped. You will not be stopped. Hey, you shall abide forever. You will stand in the presence of the Lord. I say in the name of Jesus, the Lord himself, the Lord himself shall surround you round about. The Lord himself shall surround you round about. He will give you peace. He will give you rest. He will give you peace. He will give you rest. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon you. The affliction of the wicked stops in your life. And in the name of Jesus, the destruction of the evil will not reach you. Those, those things have been destroyed in your life before are restored. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We'll put it in the chat box. I am Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. I am Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. I am Mount Zion, 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 I cannot be moved. 
as you declare it, so shall your experience be. You will never be moved. Those who try to move you will, will fall and stumble for your sake. In the name of Jesus. I feel the rush of power upon me. Hey, I say you will not be moved. Those that are trying to shift you, that are trying to push you, that are doing everything possible to, to push you, to push you away, to push you down, to push you down, to subdue you, to subjugate you, they will stumble for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I love the next song. Psalm 26. Have you put it in the chat box? I am Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. I am Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. Oh yes, I am Mount Zion. I cannot be moved. Just two more psalms to do on this altar tonight and we will take our rest. This is also a psalm of ascent. Psalm 126. And it's a song of thanksgiving to God for his deliverance of the house of Israel from the Babylonian exile. Amen. So the psalmist wrote this being full of joy, expressing the joy that fills his heart at their deliverance from the house of captivity. It seemed to them like a dream because they never never believed that they could ever be free. It will do you like a dream. It will do you like a dream oh. when your captivity is stored. It will do you like a dream. It will do you like a dream. It will do you like it. will do you like a dream. Oh, when your captivity is done, it will do you like a dream. It will do you like a dream. It will do you like a dream. Oh, when your captivity is done. It will do you like a dream. Your mouth will be full of laughter. Well, your mouth will be full of laughter. And your tongue with singing. It will do you like a dream. Your mouth will be full of laughter. <laughs> your mouth will be full of laughter. And your tongue with singing, it will do you like a dream. The things we say, the things we say, the Lord has done great things for you. It will do them like a dream. <laughs> the things we say. The things we say, the Lord has done great things for you, and to do them like a dream. The Lord will be great to you. It will do you. Hey, the Lord will be great to you. You will be full of gladness. Ah, it will do you like a dream. The Lord will be gracious to you. The Lord will be gracious to you. Your heart will be full of gladness because it will do you like a dream. Even if you are sowing in tears, if you are sowing in tears, you shall come back to reap. Hey, you will reap in joy. Oh, even if you are sowing in tears, you will come back with joy. You will come back with joy. Yo. Eh, for it will do you like a dream. Oh, the Lord goes before you. He is giving you seed. You will come back rejoicing. Bringing in your sheaves. <laughs> eh, 
Even if you are singing, your song is yet to start. The song you are singing now, it is only a reaction for the main song. Ah, because it will do you like a dream. Eh, it will do you like a dream. It will do you like a dream. Oh. It will do you like a dream. It will turn back your captivity. It will turn back your captivity. It will do you like a dream. Oh. It will do you like a dream. It will do me like a dream. I will laugh like a dream. I will not wake up from the dream. Oh. For that dream is my reality. Hey, it will do me like a dream. Oh, it will do me like a dream. Oh, it will do me like a dream. Oh, it will do me like a dream. Hallelujah! <laughs> Psalm 126 is done. Hallelujah! Oh, you have been afflicted now. Listen to me. You have been afflicted now. Over that same matter that you have been crying, weeping, mourning, gnashing your teeth, wailing about. Over that same matter, you will shout for laughter. You will shout for joy. You will sing for joy. Your heart shall be full of gladness. In the name of Jesus. It will do you like a dream. Run to the chat box and put it there. It will do me like a dream. Oh yes. It will do me like a dream. Oh yes. It will do me like a dream. Oh yes. Sheda kapana to kuri ne kete kura pares kere adabayana marus paraba. It will do me like a dream. It will do me like a dream. Hallelujah. Oh, all right. Let's run through it quickly. For those of you who didn't follow while we were singing that song. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him lift up your right hand wherever you are and take one single prayer lord take away my captivity let my days of weeping be over and let it do me like a dream take away my captivity Turn my captivity around. Turn my captivity around. Turn my captivity around. Turn my captivity around. Take away my sorrows. Let it do me like a dream. Let it do me like a dream. If you want to go personal, you can go personal. Can you mention those cases, situations, circumstances, conditions unto him? Entirely, Lord. Turn it around, 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 oh God. And let it do me like a dream. I issue this decree from Zion. In the name of the Lord of hosts, all those situations, circumstances, conditions, tribulations, troubles, I command a turning around. 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 A turning and turning, a turning and turning, a turning and turning, a turning and turning. 
until it turns for your favor and it will do you like a dream in the name of Jesus our God raise uh, our God reign it blessed be the Lord who oh, the rock of our salvation is exalted our God reign it blessed be the Lord oh the rock of our salvation is exalted now the last psalm on this altar tonight Psalm 127 Psalm 127 Psalm 127 is also one of the songs of ascent sung by pilgrims as they traveled to Jerusalem now this psalm teaches about the importance of God's blessing in building a household in building a city and in building a life God's blessing in building a life now this psalm declares that it is futile to build a house without God's blessings it is effort in futility except the Lord builds the house they labor in vain you will not labor in vain you will not build your life in futility after working, laboring putting efforts in place to own a life, to own an empire to have an empire of lasting influence and relevance it will not crumble in your eyes it will not crumble after you in the name of Jesus, the blessings of the Lord shall be upon all you build in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. So the psalmist also speaks about God's mighty hand in protecting a city, protecting a life, securing a city, securing a nation, securing a life. And he also speaks about God giving children as gifts. God giving children as gifts. In the name of Jesus, either you are trusting God for the, for the gift of children or you are trusting God for a gift in a line in a part of your life i declare that as you sing this psalm the lord shall supply unto you the lord shall give unto you the lord shall give you manifold in abundance in the name of jesus so can we take this prayer of god this prayer for god's blessing together as we bring all these very close on this altar psalm 127 Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hands of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that had his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Take three prayers as we bring all things to a close tonight. Lord, build my life Lord build my life Lord build my life and watch over it yourself Lord build my life and watch over it yourself Lord build my life and watch over it yourself Lord build my life and watch over it yourself. Riatos kipa, rados kipelia tapaiko, Jesus kipulish karana kapanata, keto kopala kapuri filleto supreni anama. Build my life, O God, and watch over it yourself. In the name of Jesus, I declare from this altar: the Lord shall build your life, the Lord shall watch over your life, 
the Lord will keep you. He will keep your investment. He will keep all you build in the name of Jesus. Hey, the Lord will watch over you. You will not grumble. All you have built and you are building and you will still build will not grumble in the name of Jesus. Put it in the chat box. The Lord builds my life and watch over it himself. The Lord builds my life and watches over it himself. The Lord builds my life and watches over it himself. The Lord builds my life and watches over it himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now take the second prayer. Take the second prayer. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. And you will satisfy me early. You will satisfy me with your goodness. And you will satisfy me early. You will satisfy me with your goodness. And you will satisfy me early. You will satisfy me with your goodness. And you will satisfy me early. In the mighty name of Jesus. All my life, Yeshua, you will satisfy me with your goodness. Oh, the goodness of sleep, the goodness of good sleep, the goodness of good children, the goodness of strong children, the goodness of elder children, the goodness of healthy life, the goodness of buoyant finance, the goodness of refreshed anointing, the goodness of blossoming ministry, the goodness of flourishing marriage. Lord, all my life, you will satisfy me with your goodness. You release the rain of abundance upon me. You will satisfy me with your goodness, O oh God. And holy shall it be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you quickly rush to the chat box and put it there? I am satisfied with the goodness of the Lord. Holy. I am satisfied with the goodness of the Lord. Holy. I am satisfied with the goodness of the Lord. Holy. I am satisfied with the goodness of the Lord. Holy. Hallelujah. Now I'll take the last prayer as we bring all things to a close tonight. Lord, I will never experience shame. Lord, I will never experience shame. Lord, I will never experience shame. Shame will not catch up with me. Shame will not catch up with me. Shame will not catch up with me. I will never experience shame. I will never experience shame. I will not be put to shame. My children will not be put to shame. My children's children will not be put to shame. My generation will not be put to shame. My offsprings will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will live a happy life. I will live a blessed life. Even in old age, I will be strong. Even in old age, I will be happy. Even in old age, I will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children are strong in the earth. They speak with their enemies at the gate. They put their enemies to flight. I will live a happy life. Thank you, Jesus. I speak upon the lives of everybody connected to this altar tonight. And I say in the name of Jesus, the Lord shall preserve you. The Lord shall preserve your offsprings. You will have a happy life. You will not be put to shame. Your relevance is preserved. Your children are strong in the earth. Your children are mighty in the earth. Your children put their enemies to, to flight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even you, you are not a weakling. Even you, you are strong. Even you, you are blessed. I say you are, you are prosperous. You prosper round about. In the name of Jesus. The Lord shall build your life. And he will give you eternal joy. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Put it in the chat box. Put it in the chat box. All my life I enjoy the goodness of the Lord. All my life I enjoy the goodness of the Lord. All my life I enjoy the goodness of the Lord. All my life I enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Yes, all my life I enjoy the goodness of the Lord. All my life you have been faithful. Box, bless this channel. Bless this channel. Then prepare for another meeting tomorrow you will see the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus. So you are exalted, O oh Lord, above
silver 11th. Good night, family. And see you at the altar tomorrow. You are exalted, O oh Lord, above all levels. Yes, your glory is above all the earth. Yes, your glory is above all the earth. You are exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. You are exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Yes, your glory is above all the earth. Yes, your glory is above all the God bless you and good night. The grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be we grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us forever